Hi everyone, we're here in another edition of your Passe Baller. It's November 7, 2020. We're going to discuss the second game of uh, today's uh, lineup. It's um, Meralco Bolts going up against Token Text, uh, Tropan Giga. Um, as, you could no as you can notice, uh, Token Text just uh, came off a game yes yesterday or last night. Um, it hasn't been, yeah, it's almost 24 hours bago naman sila ng jump ball. Um, so, fatigue factor, I would, uh, pusa ako, ginalaw na naman yung camera, so, uh, <laughs> a fatigue factor can and should uh, hurt talk and text. Um, I would I, w I would have to say that because, again, it just, it has just been like two days. Um, for, uh, for Meralco, they also played din naman yesterday, pero kagaya nga sinasabi ko dati, Kapag iba kasi yung galing kang panalo eh, halos hindi mo ramdam, di ba? Pero kapag galing kang panalo, parang nadudoble pa, eh, talo rather, parang nadudoble pa nga yung pagod. So, um, this will be something great because uh, if you take a look at the paper, well, standings wise, lamang talaga talk and text. But if you take a look at the lineups and everything, lamang talaga ang ano dyan, lamang talaga ang talk and text dyan. Um, it's just that, again, fatigue uh, may, may creep up with them kasi not just yesterday, um, they also had a game like uh, like three days ago, diba? Three days ago meron, kahapon meron, ngayon na naman meron. So, um, tao lang din naman niya sila, Jason Castro, sila Pogoy, diba? So, uh, it could creep up on them. Plus, um, one more thing, eh, back-to-back, -back, galing sa back-to-back -back losses itong token text. Well, Meralco is coming off back-to-back -back wins naman. So, uh, meron isang back-to-back -back na mapuputol sa, sa ano na to, sa sa matchup na to. Um, I'm looking at Almazan versus Eram. Basically, parang iano ko lang yan eh. cancel each other out ko lang yan. Eram is wider. Almazan is, uh, I would say, more intelligent or wiser. Uh, siguro dala na ng veteran smarts. Mas matagal naman na si Almazan sa kanya, di ba? Uh, and both of them have uh, injuries din naman. So, uh, parang match lang siya kung titignan mo. Di ba? Kung titignan mo naman sa sa backward ang main guards ng uh, Meralco of course we uh, we would resort to Chris Newsom and after Chris Newsom uh, we would have Baser Amer who was actually the best player of the game last night or, I mean uh, yeah so sa last game nila uh, sa talk and text if you would choose uh, your top two guards um, then obviously well, hindi obviously. Talagang parang magtatalo ka pa kung sino ba yung top two guards mo eh. Uh, of, we can't remove Jason Castro from the, you know, from, from, from the list. Pero ang, pag, ang tanong dyan is, is, is it uh, Pugoy who's next? Or is it Ray Ray Parks, di ba? Uh, Ray, Ray, Ray Ray Parks, uh, lately, siya yung mas consistent. Um, Pugoy, lately, for the past two games, sobrang kapa si, si Pugoy. Hindi talaga siya makashoot, guys. Um, lalo na yung game nila, I forgot, who that was against, you know, two games ago. Talagang kahalos, di talaga siya makatrip. Wala talaga. Kahapon, kahit pa paano, may mga nasusyote. Pinipilit na lang ni Pagoy talagang drumive, mag-loopers, and yun, mga pumapasok. Pero outside talaga, ayaw. Now, Ray Ray Parks has been more consistent. Ray Ray, Ray Parks has put has been putting more numbers uh, in the paper. Talagang inabutan na din siya ng uh, pangit na performance yesterday. Pero nung dulo, nakapagpakita naman siya. So, Yung backcourt, I would have, I would just have to say na lalamang talaga ang token text. Although, I, I know Meralco has Chris Newsom, Baser Amer is a very intelligent point guard. They have good, uh, they have good back, uh, what you call this, um, off the bench guards with, uh, sino bang, um, sino bang number one na pamalit uh, nila dyan lately. And dyan si, and, madami, and, and, and dyan si, uh, si, si Banjo, Aram din ang uh, pinapasok. Um, sino ba? Si Pinto. Uh, si, well, yun. Yung anak ni Coach Norman, si Aaron Black. Gamit na gamit na ngayon. Hindi naman dahil sa anak lang siya. Talagang ganda rin kasi na pinapakita. Almost sure shot sa, sa free throw. Pag nalibre sa 3 points, mataas yung probability. So, marami. Marami yung, mas marami yung talk and text. I mean, I mean mas marami yung meral ko silang pagpipilian, I would have to say. But, uh, I would just simply... Um, throw it up there. Mas malakas lang talaga yung um, backport ng token text. Uh, 
this is this is something this is something hard. Before I slept last night, we were I was talking to a friend of mine, ba, na, na, who's also a player. We were talking We were sharing our thoughts and all. Um, yun na nga, kinoconsider din namin yung momentum, pangat yung momentum ng token text, pagod din yan, bad trip din yan kahapon, may rato, ganado yan, nahangiti yan, apir-apir, tulong, nahangiti, di ba? Um, yung sa galing, siguro mas magaling nga talaga yung token text, pero hindi naman ganun kalayuan, di ba? So, ang hirap, ang hirap ng game na to. Pero ang, pinagba- ang pagbabasihan ko na lang talaga, well, hindi lang yun, pero ang main na pagbabasihan ko lang na lang nito, is this, um, Pogoy has been missing shots, like missing shots. Parang gusto ko nang pumasok sa TV yesterday or last night para ako nalang mag-layup. Minsan kahit layup, hindi pa niya ma-shoot. Um, even Rosario. Rosario had 0 out of 13 or 0 out of 12 yesterday or last night. Come on, man. 0 out of 13? That just doesn't happen to a Troy Rosario, di ba? I'm sure you guys have played in tournaments, may it be commercial leagues, in your school, where, wherever you played, zero out of, you just don't go zero out of 13. Never. Um, I never made it to the PBA, but I can't remember me going zero out of 13. So I'm not sure ano na kaya ni Troy Rosario, nagkasabay-sabay pa si Daniel Pasipogoy, hindi rin kagandaan yung scoring ni Parks kahapon, yung dulo na lang. Castro was scoring, but yung outside, yung nagmimintis din. So, ang pangit talaga ng laro at all ng token text yesterday. Hindi na pahiya ako sa sinabi kong do not bet against token text, but it is what it is. That's, that's you know, that's my philosophy on this um, on this conference. Um, that's not gonna be the philosophy that I will be using kung bakit token text ang pipiliin ko sa game na to. But I'm still picking token text minus 3 minus 4 not sure kung awit pa ng minus 5 yan pero tingin ko or touch ako sa minus 4 lang yan because I don't think it will happen na si Rosario would, 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 would go 0 out of 13 ulit or 0 out of 10 or 0 out of 8 I don't think that should I don't think that would happen uh, for a player of Pogoy's caliber I am sure Hindi yan mag, I can't imagine na magtatatlong laro na ganun kapangit ang shooting ni Pukoy o, o kung ganun talaga siyang hindi makatira sa labas, makashoot sa labas. I can't imagine Jason Castro missing more shots than he did yesterday. And I can't imagine Ray Ray Parks doing the same, per, having kind of the same performance yesterday. Mamaya. Diba? I know yes, fatigue and all, pero meron sa lang players pang, pang pahinga naman eh. Hindi naman sila yung tipong ibang team or yung nagaya na sa nangyari sa San Miguel na naubos sila tautuwa yun kasi wala na ibang pamalit yung bench na hindi ganun kalalim itong talk and text malalim ang bench nito so they can rest if they want to rest mamaya patay nga sila second quarter fine but they can still play because uh, talk and text got good bench so I'm still picking uh, talk and text and uh, I actually think that this will be a convincing win um, a testament that they're still the talking text that they are. Uh, I know right now they're just in the second place of standings, but uh, and I'm sure it, it took a lot from them na papakapat na performance nila, and I'm sure they're excited and rearing to go back to the court later tonight para mapakita na kaya pa rin nila and uh, they're, you know, they're still, if not the best, one of the best in the team, in, in the league right now. So watch out for that. Watch out for the performance ni Pugoy. Di Rosario, mamaya. Because again, I can't imagine na mauulit yung ganong shooting, yung ganong pagka-alat ng dalawang taong yun. They're too good. You know, they're gilas players para maulit yung ganong klaseng pagtatae. Sorry for the term, but that's that's our term here. Pagka hindi makashoot, pag tatae si ganun. So, grabe na. Hindi na diarrhea yan. Baka kailangan na rin sa hospital pagka ganyan pa rin sila mamaya. Okay? So again, I'm picking Talk and Text to win over Meralco. Uh, of course, they would want to keep that um, keep and secure yung twice to beat advantage because if uh, Talk and Text would still lose, they would go 6 and 4. Tatabla na nga sila sa Alaska. Nakabuntot na sa kanila sa Alaska. 6-3 sila, 6-4 Alaska. So pagka tinalo pa, natalo pa sila mamaya, baka maagawan pa sila ng top 4 spot. So um, I'm sure Talk and Text would not allow that and I'm sure Talk and Text would get this win later tonight.
Okay, so maraming salamat po sa mga sumusuporta. Maraming po salamat sa mga nakakausap po sa messenger, sa text. Uh, maraming salamat sa mga nagbabalato. <laughs> Pag nananalo. Uh, tuloy lang po tayo. Uh, iwasan po natin yung pagtatalo sa comments. I know I said feel free to put some comments there. Um, you know, just put, put put some comments there. You know, if, if you don't agree, then you can put in your own comment. Uh, but we don't have, we don't really have to fight, you know. Uh, masyado na maraming problema yung mundo para dadagdagan pa natin ng isa pang problema dahil lang sa iba yung prediction ko sa prediction mo. Okay? Kaya ganun lang yun. Uh, just share yours and um, we'll appreciate that for sure. Alright? So, uh, ingat po tayo. Let's enjoy the weekend. Peace out. Masay love.